I decided to change my outfit. I'm going with this suit and glasses because why not? Look at me. Look at me. Whew. I am... I am looking spiffy right now. Because, you know, I gotta always be on point with my looks, am I right? Especially if I'm an OG. A gangster has to look good, you know? See, look at my outfit. Wow. Who the hell was that? Guy's got a voice like Woody fucking Woodpecker. That was Marty. Remember the little kid you slipped down the street from me? I had to pick up the truck here, so he gave me a lift. What's going on with the truck? It's gonna make us some nice cash. Hop in. I'll explain on the way. You drive. Of Come course I'm driving. Right, Riverside. Why am I not surprised that I'm driving? You feel me? Some night, huh? Yeah, you could say that. What? You ain't still mad, are you? Mm. Nah, very in a stiff. That's the first thing I wanted to do when I got out. Hey, come on. You had fun at the cat house, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Thank you for that. Why did you crash but, uh, into me? Everything between then and now, not so much. All right, all right. Well, listen, today's gonna be a lot better, I promise. I sure as hell hope so. Lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave a comment below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, please subscribe to my channel, that way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me. And hit that notification button as well so you know when I upload my videos. Now this truck here is very hard to maneuver. I'm surprised I haven't been pulled over for reckless driving because... So what's the deal? Simple. We just gotta go to a couple of places and unload these smokes. Then we bring the truck back to Eddie and get our cut of the take. Piece of cake. Wait a minute. I seem to remember getting thrown in the clink for a piece of cake just like this. Don't worry, I've done this before. First stop, Riverside. If you say so. Trust me, you're gonna thank me later. This better be easy money where none of us get screwed because piece of cake missions always land people in prison. I mean, look at Vito. He, what, ended up losing a couple years of his life? And besides, what's behind... What's in the back of this truck anyways? Are we looking at stolen contrabands? Are we smuggling some liquor? What's the deal? Seriously. And on top of that, judging by the map I see, I think there's a cop right behind us. So I'm gonna play it cool, calm, casual. Okay, so I see here it's kind of looks like candy because they're in small boxes but I don't even know what type of boxes they are and number two dude I was having a nice dream you just had to go and interrupt me from my slumber like come on all right let me go ahead and take the turn here oh are you good are you ooh okay okay move move thank you and great the cops right behind me too oh, all right so where am i going where am i uh parking is it here yeah okay it's here and we got people waiting for us what now now we take care of our customers. These guys here buying bulk from us. Come with me. Okay. Say less. Okay. Climb up and hand me the goods. Hi, one carton of reds. Reds. Hand me a carton of reds, Vito. Okay. One carton. Right. Let's go. Hand it over. Oh, so there's cigarettes, right? Here it is. Two dollars. Hey, I'm all out of smokes. Give me a carton of blues. Carton of blues. One carton of blues, Vito. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, that's the one. How much for the blues? Here it is. Two bucks. Oh, 
Oh, snap, you gotta be kidding me. Who called the cops? What the fuck? Hey, Sarge, how you doing? Caught in the blues, as usual? Is he a customer for real? I think I'll take the whites this time. Oh, wow, he is a customer. Get that veto. Let's go. Carton of whites. Okay, carton of whites it is for the man in blue. Bingo. Are we good? Thanks, Joe. Now get the hell out of here, will you? Okay, time to go. Get in, Vito. Next stop is Millville. It's going great today. We're making some serious dough here. Yeah, it's not bad selling cigarettes. We got $328. That's pretty sick. I wonder how much is that in today's money, you know? All right, let me go ahead and change the radio. Not trying to get copy claimed here. Okay, so clearly, let me go ahead and maneuver this parking. Wow, this truck really is horrible at its maneuvering. You know, I'm so used to having a backup camera, I wouldn't really know what to do without it. So the kid Mark, he works for Eddie too? <laughs> In his dreams. Kid's not even 18 yet. He does jobs for me, drives me around, makes deliveries, that sort of stuff. Thinks he's a gangster though. Spends too much damn time at the movies. Well, if the kid's got you for a role model, he's in for a lot of trouble. Oh, yeah, wise the guy? The shade. He reminds me a lot of you when you was his age. Exactly. And I spent two years dodging bullets in Europe and six years in the camps inside my chair. That's what I mean by trouble. What's the matter? Six years. Somebody shit in your coffee this morning. It's like you forgot about all the good times. Yeah, remind me of those someday, would you? The shade is real, and dude, six years. Six years that he would never get back. That's what really kills me. Six years of not being able to witness his sister getting married. Six years for not being there when his mom died. Six years for not being able to even attend the funeral. I'm surprised Vito doesn't have resentment towards his friend Joe at all. I mean, Joe is the one that introduced him to that type of lifestyle in the first place, so... I know for a fact I would have been plotting my revenge from the get-go. But I guess Vito is a little bit forgiving, especially since Joe wasn't really in on it. I mean, at least I hope not. But I don't know. I would still feel pretty salty about it. And honestly, it sounds to me like Vito is still being angry about that whole situation. I mean, I can't blame him. I really can't. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh, wait. Okay, we go straight. I thought we had to go through here. Okay. Whatever. This truck is so horrible at maneuvering. I, I, I hate this. I would never own a truck See, like what this. what I tell you? It's going like butter today. All right. right. This almost makes up for last night. Almost. Come on. What's better than this? You got fresh air, good company, and you're making a shitload of dough. Not too bad for a guy who just got out of the slam. All right, all right. Listen, if the next few hours are anything like the last few hours, all's forgiven. There's the veto I know. All right, we'll be there in a second. Okay, that's cool. I mean, they got $326, so that's a lot of money back in the days. Today's money, however, that's like a basic bill. Probably a phone bill if you are on a big family plan. Or maybe child support payments, who knows. I think because of me missing that turn, the drive is a lot more longer than usual. Like, when, when are we getting off the highway? And also, I am driving so good. Look at that, look at that. I'm not crashing. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay, okay. All right, we should be good, right? This is the longest highway I've ever been on. Seriously. Are we going around? Like, when do we exit the highway? Oh, right here, right here, got it. Oh, oh, this turn. 
Oh, this turn. Oh, the brakes! Oh, yeah, you're, you're definitely gonna need to change the brakes after this. I'm not gonna lie. That was, like... Whew. Pure life or death situation right there. I wonder what car insurance was like back in the day. Was it really cheap or... Did it even exist at all? Tell me why my car insurance went up. I mean, it only went up 25 bucks, so it's not too bad, but still, it's like... Why is it that loyalty does not get reward here? If I'm, as a customer, been with you for a long time, wouldn't you want to keep my business by making sure my rate doesn't go up? Apparently, I... That's not the case with car insurance. I've heard some crazy horror stories where people have seen their rates go up by a hundred, two hundred bucks. Shut up! I'm trying to rush as much as possible. We got business to attend to, you know? And I don't see any cops here. Oh, wait. Yeah, I see a cop. So what, since the cops were in front of us, we have to obey the traffic rules? Because I know for a fact, in this game, if you like, drive through a red light, or if the cops catches you speeding, you do get in trouble and you have to pay a fine, so... I'm not trying to do that. But yeah, as I was saying before, a lot of people's car insurance have been going up, so... Let me know in the comments below if that's something that you're experiencing right now. When I talked to my car insurance, um, State Farm was saying how everyone's going up because of the amount of claims and accidents that are happening in Connecticut. But my thing is, why do I have to get punished for someone who doesn't know how to drive? Why do I have to pay their price? You feel me? I'm a good driver. Give me good driver discounts. Like, come on. Ooh, we're gonna make mad money. Let's go. Hey, a cotton of blues, if you please. Got it. Give me a cotton of blues. Cotton of blues, let's go. Here you go. Bingo. All right, who's next? Hi, I'll take a box of reds. Box of reds. Carton of reds, Vito. All right, got it. Carton of reds, let's go. All right, hand it over. Who's next? Yeah. Oh no, who is this? I have a bad feeling about this. What you selling, Mac? You buying or just window shopping? Maybe. We're selling smokes. Two bucks a carton, hundred bucks a crate. I'll make you a deal. You fuck over ten cartons and maybe we'll let you and your buddy get out of here in one piece. Oh, you, hey, look, you pal, little brat. How about you get back in your cute little car with your little friends there and I'll pretend I never seen you. Sound good? <laughs> You don't get it, do you, you fat motherfucker? This is our turf, and it's gonna cost you to operate here. Now pay up! You're the one who doesn't get it. You have any idea who you're talking to? One last chance. You walk away now and- Yeah, I'll tell you who I'm talking to. A fat two-bit fucking Dago door-to-door -door salesman hocking stolen cigarettes on my turf. And it's time to close up shop, asshole. Okay, boys. I think it's time for a fire sale. No! No! Shit, what do you say now? What do I gotta say? Kill him. That's what I gotta say. Come on, hop in that car and let's go. All right, let's get one of these fucks and teach him a lesson. Yes, let's go. Wait, they're called greasers. Step on it, Vito. He's getting away. Yeah, Before I got George, you. Joe, go well, well, well. Greasers are trying to get in on us, huh? Ooh, wait, wait.
wait, I'm not trying to crash. Hold on. I'm really trying to catch up here. So you mean to tell me once we catch these greasers, we're going to kill them, right? Crazy, Joe. Look at you. Look at you being all spit and fire and stuff. Showing them who's really the boss. That is so cute. Yo, this is... Ooh. 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 I'm ah, sorry. Shit. Now what? Shit. We should check in with Eddie. Stop at the nearest phone booth to call. Okay, so where's the nearest phone booth? Hold on. Let me let me look at the map here. The nearest phone booth would be where? Where's the nearest phone booth? I don't even know where's the nearest phone booth, Joe. Seriously. And honestly, Where's I don't think Indianapolis Speedway. Take it easy. I'm in a rush. Joe, I know you're pissed off, but bro, seriously, I'm trying to find you a phone booth, bro. Ugh. I'm trying to find you a phone booth, that's all. I don't see anyone here, but whatever. And I was trying to look through the map, too. I don't see any phone booth icons, so... I don't know where he wants me to go. And I'm starting to think maybe we weren't really meant to catch that guy, either, so... Hold on, where's the phone booth? That's the diner. That's the gas station. Phone booth, okay. So, the phone booth would be... I don't see any phone booths. I don't see nothing. What? Am I tweaking? There is no phone booth icon here. What is this? No, that's different. That's a gas station. That's a... Uh, that's home. Gun shop. And then there's the body shop. Maybe... The gun shop has a phone booth? We could double check and look. I mean, doesn't hurt to look, right? And if that doesn't have a phone booth, then we can try the nearest spot, which would be some gas station or something. I don't see anything. And I know Joe is pissed because, well, there goes his business. Ooh, there you go, right here. Phone booth, baby. Got it. Right here. Phone booth. Yep. Eddie, it's me, Vito. Listen, we got a problem. We were moving the smokes, and then these, uh, these greases came out of nowhere and set the fucking truck on fire. No, you not. You handle a bunch of grease balls? What the fuck happened? Look, look, Eddie, Eddie, hey, listen, it's not our fault, okay? They set the fucking truck on fire before we knew what was happening and everything burned up. All right, we popped one of the guys, but... What do I fucking care? Just bring me my money. I paid two grand for that truck and I want it back. Look Damn. Look at the like guy Steve here with me. And we were just talking about what to do with those punks. We're gonna take care of them now. Steve will meet you at the crazy horse. You know it? Okay. Crazy Horse. Yeah, I know where it is. Steve's gonna have a few guys with him. Show him that nobody fucks with us. No shooting, though. So it looks like just another gang fight. I don't want to read about a bloodbath in the papers tomorrow. All right. Sure, Eddie. Don't worry. We'll take care of it. Wow. All right, we gotta Too meet Steve grand. in front of the Crazy Horse. The good news is he's gonna help us out. The bad news is Eddie wants his money back. All two grand of it. Shit. You really think we're gonna get two G's out of these guys? Hold on, let me go and yep. I don't know. There you we'll go. see what Steve's got in mind. You know he ain't doing this out of the kindness of his heart. Let's go. Two grand, and we only made like four hundred bucks. Oh yeah, we're screwed. We are oh, so screwed. Eddie was fucking pissed on the phone. 
Sure he was. Just like I'm pissed right now. Even if these assholes ain't got a dime, I'm gonna kick $2,000 worth of shit out of him. I'm with you. But what's Steve doing working for Eddie? He works for Derek, and Derek's with Vinci's crew. How the hell should I know? But hey, you're still gonna take jobs from Derek, right? Even though you're working for Eddie? We all gotta do what we gotta do to get by. Okay, sure. I mean, any job is a good job for me, am I right? I don't know, Steve man. Indianapolis Speedway? Take it easy, I'm in a rush. Stop it, Joe. We're trying to get to the crazy place so we can get the two grand. Do you want to be able to pay them or not? I'm obviously in a rush because I just want to get this done. I mean, I know I'm driving reckless, but damn. Aren't you in a rush too? This ain't no Sunday drive, you feel me? Ooh. Oh, I am so sorry. Oh, I scratched this car. Oh, okay. All right, let me see. Let me see. Psych. I ain't waiting. Ooh. Did you not see that light turn red? Joe, shut up, Joe. Shut up, Joe. I get it. You want to be all safe on the road, but I'm in the rush. I'm not going to take all my time to act like I'm driving Miss Daisy, okay? Oh, man. I can't believe there Before goes... Down before you get pulled over. Okay, I'm fine. Alright, so we lost the carton full of trouble. Sorry, we lost a truck full of cartons. We owe them two grand. Damn, I knew it. This isn't going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy. This whole thing is just bull. I'm not going to lie. And Joe, once again, dragged me into another job. Okay, we good. Well, what the fuck are you doing? I'm sorry. Please relax, will you? My bad. I didn't mean to uh, crash into the rock. My bad. Hey, Steve. Hey. Hey, guys. Marty? What are you doing here? Hey, Joe. I'm going with you on this one. Steve needed help. He said I could come along. Steve, uh, isn't this, yeah. uh... Kids gotta learn sometime. Okay. Why are we here, Steve, huh? The guys we're looking for are all headed to the foundry. This is where they usually meet, so we'll start here. Then head over to the foundry to finish the job. And, uh, why'd you volunteer to help us? Those bastards trashed my cousin's car. They robbed him and knocked out three of his teeth. Oh, yeah, those wow. Those fucking assholes. They make problems all over the city. What Shut the up, day? kid. I'm talking here. So like the Bible says, an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. And well, we'll just start with this joint. So what's the plan? First, we're gonna trash this place. And how are we gonna do that? Well, are we burning stuff? With this. Ooh. Go ahead, boys. Hey, come on, guys. <laughs> now you can either help us or stay out of our way. <laughs> Do I really have a choice? A <laughs> Marty is what too trigger happy. Wow, well, I guess I am helping them. <laughs> Alright, let me do this. I can't believe we really are trashing the place. That is so cute. There you go. There you go. Gotta get the side windows too, you know? This is kind of like a waste of bullets. I'm not gonna lie. Vito, Marty, I got some Molotov cocktails in the trunk. Go get them and throw them in. My pleasure, Steve. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna have so much fun. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I got it. Wait, can I take more? Yeah, I got it. Okay, now what? What what do I do now? What are you waiting for? Grab the bottle and chuck it in. It ain't that hard. Okay, so like this? Oh nice. Okay. Oh, this is so sweet. I love it. Teach him. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now we go to the foundry. Get in, oh. boys. We'll meet you two at the main gate. See you there. Oh, this is so sweet. I can't wait. 
All right, let's go. Let's drive. Okay, let's go. Let's follow them. Let's follow them. Let's go. Let's finish. Let's finish the job. Woohoo! These greasers are definitely not going to be messing with us no more. That is for sure. Joe, how you feeling, buddy? I bet you're pretty happy that we trashed the place, huh? Nah, Joe's quiet still. I bet he's, like, contemplating and stuff. Thinking about how he's gonna pull two grand out of his ass. Okay, we're here. Hey, how'd you get in here? Bye. Follow the fucking yellow brick road. Toma, that's what you get. <laughs> nice one. You fuckers are dead. Joe, watch out. Oh, thanks, kid. Wow. Shit, they got guns. Let them have it. I guess we are shooting them, huh? Got one. Come on, greaser boy. There you go. There you go. go there you go. Wait, come on. How come I'm not shooting? Oh. Hold on. Kill him. Okay. Come on. What do we do? Ooh. Hold on. Let me... There you go. There you go. Got one. Okay. Little by little, you guys. Shit, just like in the, just like in war. Bet, huh? There you go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me hide a little bit. Let me hide a little bit. I'm not trying to die, you know. Cover my back. Bye. Come on. There you go. There you go. Oh gosh. Okay. All right. Let me see. Let me see. Let me get a closer look. We're driving them away, so that's that's the important part here. There you go. Come on. There you go. There you go. You suck. Oh, let me hide. Let me hide. I'm not trying to die here. I need... Wait. Oh, yeah, right here. Come here. Come here. Pop out. Move. There you go. There you go. All right, let me let me use this gun though. Oh, oh, I'm gonna use all the bullets. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Where you at? There you go. Dead as hell. Let's go. Come on. What? Oh, this 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 car here, man. They really are trying to hit us with their cars. That is so funny. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, are we good or nah? Bye. Bye. Alright. Let me let me do this. Hold on. Okay. Come on. Oh snap. Oh snap. Nope. Nope. I am, I am, I'm trying. There you go. There you go. Ain't no one gonna mess with me. Let's go. Woo! Are we good? Let's go. Hurry up and kill him. Yep, we're good. We're actually getting close. Come on. Come on. There you go. Got one. I got one. We are really cornering them, for sure. Come on. Damn! Hold on, I am running out of bullets here. Let me see if I can shoot the engine. That would be so funny if it just... turned out to be a big boom, you know? Come on. Okay, we got one more. We got one more. Yeah, we did it. What? Is there more? Is there more greasers? 
Are we good or no? We got one more, right? Suddenly I have way more bullets than usual. This is like a never ending war, I tell you. This is crazy. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.